So it's good to know you're doing something for somebody else. They've spent countless hours tracing, stuffing, and packing. Now these ladies at Green Tree Assisted Living in Mount Vernon have 200 dolls to show for it. They do it for fun. Keeps you out of your room and keeps you active. <laughs> and feelings of togetherness. It's your home for one thing, and I don't have many relatives anymore. But most of all, to help children in traumatic situations. I'm thinking of the poor kids that are getting them and how happy they'll, they will be. The Trauma Doll Project is conducted through the Kiwanis Club. Local authorities give these dolls to children in hospitals, car crashes, or other scary situations. Any kind of uh, a scene where they need to get the child's mind on something else. The dolls come with markers so kids can make them their own. Jefferson County Sheriff Roger Mulch says the department uses them often. He says they serve as a good icebreaker. And some of the, the families we deal with, um, they have had a negative image of the police since they were born. Um, and that's what you have to try to break. It's a way for officials to get the information they need while also comforting the child. It doesn't talk back, it doesn't hit them, it doesn't hurt them, it's theirs. You know, sometimes it's their best friend. Meanwhile, a group of friends gathers around the table once a week to keep this project going. Uh, they get to socialize, they know each other better now, and they work as a team, and it's just, it's just awesome. The end result is a symbol of hope in the eyes of a child. Uh, just little things like that, people don't understand how much that helps us. In Mount Vernon with this week's Unsung Heroes, Emily Eddington, News 3.